Okay, so needless to say, there was no new Batman reveal at the Game Awards, and while that is somewhat disappointing for the community, it's not a complete surprise to me. I was, like, I kind of had this gut feeling that Warner Brothers Games was going to pull something like this, and I'm not going to defend the marketing of this decision. I do think it's really poor PR to tease a game, like, all the way back in September and act like you're trying to start this huge marketing campaign, like, capture the night taglines and stuff and then just not show anything for, like, I don't know, six months or however long it's going to be. I do think it's poor marketing. I do think it's poor PR. Um, but with that said, there's no need to take personal shots at the devs because the devs have no control over the announcement. That's Warner Brothers Games, the parent company, who has control over when the games get revealed, how the marketing works, really. So while it's disappointing... It's completely useless to call Warner Brothers Games Montreal incompetent or stupid or call the devs idiots or any... It's not worth it. And overall, I don't think that this is anything that we should be getting that upset over. And just as I predicted, there's all these people getting upset at, uh, you know, Savy, at me, at Slickmoff, at Salvage, at all the sources who said it might be there, at, you know, Warner Brothers devs and such. And it's just not worth it. Nobody promised that it would be there. There were enough people saying that they'd heard it might be there, but again, it was all from secondhand sources, so there was no guarantee it was actually going to happen, which I feel we were all pretty transparent about. But I also feel like it was worth reporting on because there were that many reliable insiders talking about it, saying it would happen soon. There were a few of them saying it would potentially be at the Game Awards. Uh, but again, even go watch Slick Moff's stream where he had his source on, and his source was like, do not quote me that they will be at the Game Awards because I am not saying that. I'm saying that I heard it from someone else. So it's it's something where the game could have been pulled. Maybe they were planning on showing it at the Game Awards and then decided to pull it and show it somewhere else. Um, there's a possibility that the wires got crossed with the Batman Telltale bundle that was announced today which is absolute trash by the way it's just like a black and white version of the game um but that was announced not at the game awards but it was announced today so it's possible that people heard that there would be a batman announcement today and assumed that it would be the warner brothers games montreal announcement at the game awards because i don't think that this telltale bundle was on anybody's radar um but basically I just wanted to do this video really quick just to say it's not worth getting mad at anybody over. Don't pretend like you're going to boycott the game because that, <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's just such a poor, like, empty threat because your end goal is that you want the game. And so if you say, well, then I'm going to boycott the game, how, what, like, how does that help you get the game? It just doesn't work. So I understand being frustrated. I do think it's odd, especially that there there was a Warner Brothers Games Montreal dev who tweeted about being upset that people were speculating and making up rumors. And I feel like that's sort of pushing it because they're a studio that is working on one of the most famous IPs of all time. They've been teasing us for years and years. We've been waiting for seven years for the studio to make a new game. And so I think that speculation and rumors should kind of be a given. But I also understand the, the frustration that that must be stressful to uh, have this constant... Um, stress of people asking you when your game is happening when you as an individual don't really have control over it and again I'm not going to defend the marketing I do think it's really a poor weird decision that they've done to literally give us that tease that was pretty meaningless and pretty cryptic and to not be like follow it up with anything not even a logo not any kind of release window I do think it's odd but again, it's just not worth getting mad at anybody over. If you took my words out of context, if you took Slickmoff's words out of context, if you took Salvage's words out of context, if you took Sabi's words out of context, if you took anybody, any of the other sources or devs' tweets or anything out of context, I'm sorry, but that's on you. None of us said it would be at the Game Awards. We all speculated and said that there was a good chance it would be there, and I still maintain that stance. But Slickmoff, he, he said that he was only 60% sure that it would be there. I said to keep your expectations low. So if you were 100% sold on it being there, you can't accuse me of hyping you up because that's ultimately on you. And so I apologize if you were heavily disappointed, but I just think that that's a good lesson that next time you go into an event and you're hoping to see something that it's a good practice of keeping your expectations in check, of being open-minded about what you're going to see so that you're not 
um, completely heartbroken when it, like the one thing that you're excited to see doesn't happen. Because, yes, obviously I am somewhat disappointed that we have to wait a little longer to see this game, but I am convinced it's coming. I do think we'll see it next year. And again, I'm not saying we will for sure 100% see it next year, but I am saying that I do think that there's a good chance we'll see it next year. I don't know that they would tease that and like the September teases and just wait for like three years before showing anything else. Um, so we can remain hopeful and I don't know. I just think that it's a, this isn't the time to start flipping out. I just don't think it's worth it. It doesn't do any good. And there's so much other great stuff to look forward to, especially with the movies that are about to come out, some of the games coming out next year. Um, but anyways, thanks you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe. And uh, feel free to comment below what you think. Uh, just try to keep it civil, please. And thanks again so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.